she was going to send it by her so i was like okay i didn't want to like cause any drama or anything of that sort i was like okay i was patient i was like okay okay no problem since it's by air i know whatever the clothes will be with me maybe by one max you know one a, one p.m by one o'clock in the afternoon i was like okay then i waited even on that friday i didn't call sorry they didn't call me i had to call her again i had called her several times she didn't pick then i called again then she picked she was like okay yeah I, my clothes will be with me in two hours yeah da, 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 da. i was like okay no problem i'll wait i waited nobody called i had to call her again you know to ask how far then she gave me the person's number i'm supposed to collect the clothes with and yeah i called her did not answer my call until after like an hour or so then she called me telling me okay yeah okay she will confirm payments before i sh before i come i was like yes but at least i paid like 80 percent of that money of my bill so why would i need to wait until payment confirmation even though that time i wasn't that angry you know i know she's just following uh, their rules or whatever i know so i was like okay confirm it and i, I called the madam um she was like when I called her, she was like, okay, she has to confirm payment. I was like, ah, ah. me, I paid over 30, uh, sorry, that's it, 30, 80% of my bill. So what's remaining is just small. Just tell me the address I'm coming so that if I see what happened, I'll just send the remaining balance. She said, okay, I should just hold on, please. Uh, let her confirm first. Let her confirm payment. I let her. Then I, I decided to just call the her madam again. I called her, I called her so many times she didn't pick. Then I I texted her. I said, please confirm payment. No reply for almost two hours. Then my uh, sister, my sister in law was going out. Then I decided to just follow her to just collect the clothes anyway. Because, yeah, at that time she started telling me that she lives in locals or whatever. That, but I should just wait, let her confirm the payment first. Uh, then I was like, okay, let me just follow her so that I can just collect the money. Uh, sorry, I, I can just collect my clothes and get it over with. I waited. I called, called, called. Nobody answered. Then, thank God, she called again. She, I was like, okay, I'm on my way now. I'm out already. I'm out of the house. Just tell me your address so that I can come get my clothes. And uh -huh, mind you, I've sent the money since so. I've sent my remaining balance since so. Um yeah i call sorry i call her telling her that she should tell me the address let me just come she was like ah, ah, no she has to confirm i call her since so to confirm the uh, the this thing so she didn't answer that time i was so pissed i was like i called her i was like no if you are not going to confirm me i will just leave the clothes with you just take the clothes i don't want it anymore ah, like i'm out already what am i doing i'm ju i just follow them so that i can just collect my clothes and get it over with and they are telling me that just she's just doing like like this to me she just wants to tell me the address because she didn't confirm payments and after all i'm even entitled to one of the clothes even if i didn't pay the remaining money you understand so i'm even entitled why is she wasting my time like that i was so pissed and i was so furious then i texted her madam telling her that me i just want my clothes back you know and my money back i don't want the clothes anymore just give me my money and my ankara she was like she sent me so many messages all that while you remember since it, that time i told you that i called her i called her telling her to confirm payment she didn't call me back until i sent her this message and she replied me she replied me sending a bunch of messages i didn't even read them to be honest i didn't read them at all and i just tell her that i don't i just want my money i don't want the clothes anymore just give me my money i mean i'm so pissed i don't know what why i'm not that kind of angry person and i don't get pissed so easily but i was so angry i i, I went to bed really mad I, I went to bed really angry yesterday i didn't even thought i was going to dress up today because i was so mad yeah so that's what happened <laughs> But thank God, I calmed down this morning. I decided to just get ready. Yeah, by the way, it's about 4 o'clock now. <laughs> I don't even have a watch for my checking my wrist. So it's about 4 o'clock now in the afternoon. I haven't gone anywhere. 
I'm still at home. Yeah, so um, and Sokoto is fun so far so good. I went to meet Sarita here yesterday. <laughs> I totally forgot to blog that and I keep forgetting to blog. I mean until I finish whatever I'm doing and I remember oh my god I didn't blog it. <laughs> Okay, all right, so yeah, that's it. That's what happened, and yeah, up to now, I didn't collect the clothes. <laughs> Thank God I have this to wear. I didn't collect, I didn't collect it. They are still with her. I'm so pissed. I don't even want to see her number or anything. I'm so angry. I'm not, I, I promised myself I'm not going to call them again. They can just keep it. I, do, I hate dealing with people like this. I hate it. How can I call you like? more than three times and you cannot call back she she didn't bother to call me back tell to even confirm the payments and the fact that i went out to just collect the clothes that was pisses me up the most like i went out just to collect that clothes so why would you just keep me waiting like that it's not it's not nice it's not fair yeah it's not fair i wish i could just tell you who it is but, but i'd rather just keep quiet i don't want too much drama you know so yeah that's it i'm a bit calm just talking about it now <laughs> yeah so and to top it all i woke up with a toothache can you believe it and we are supposed to eat salami how am i going to eat it god Abdullah. That is the bush. So yeah, um, and yeah, I forgot to tell you, I met Sadita here. I went to her house to borrow a ring light. And I'm supposed to record my Eid makeup. Yeah, but <laughs> with all what happened, actually, I'm not in the mood anymore. So thank God I even dressed up. So
Hello, so um, we are back, safe and sound, thank God. <laughs> 